Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So, Matt Rempe was suspended four games. Uh, NHL player safety just released it a little while ago, and rightfully so. He deserved this. I believe he should have gotten more, maybe the five games, but I know a lot of people were saying that it's not. he's not a repeat offender. He's only going to get one or two games. But I'm glad they came down on him hard with this uh, suspension. It was a vicious head hit, which they're trying to get out the hits to the head, and he's been doing it a lot since he's been coming in, since he came into the NHL. Uh, his 10 games, you know, I know this guy's a big guy. He's 6'7", 241 pounds. He's a mammoth out there. He's a big guy. Of course, he's going to be physical. He's going to throw his body around. But when you see him purposely charging players, um, and her intent to injure is the whole thing. You know what he did to Bastion. What he did to Labushkin was another one. He charged Labushkin, and he charged Bastion off the bench. I know his arm was down, but in this case with Siegenthaler, you clearly saw his arm was out with the intent to hit his head with his, with his, uh, with his elbow. So this was something that had to happen. The player safety had to come down on him harder this time because when you look at the body of work that this guy has done, this goon has done uh, in his 10 games, he's just game after game. He's either you know fighting, which, you know, I know they're trying to get out of the NHL. I still want to see fighting in the games. I think it, it brings a lot of attention, and it sways the game to the other team. So it does play a factor in the game uh, to some extent, but, you know, I, I hope they don't alleviate it. But I, I like what Rempe has done as far as bringing that intrigue back with the fighting. But when you see him going out to intently injure players, that's what I don't like. You have to take into consideration... These are other human beings like you, Rempe. You know, these are players that you can injure. You, you could hurt them. You can, you know, you're taking them away from their friends and family. And, you know, with one blow to the head like that, with the speed and force you're coming, you could potentially really hurt someone badly where they're out for a while. They can have their hockey career ended or they could possibly die. You know, this is something that they have to come down on him with this and, ha and have him, you know, just rethink what he's what his intent is for playing in the NHL. You know, go out there and play the best of your abilities, but don't go out there and be a goon like this. You're intently injuring players and you're hurting them. And, you know, I'm glad they gave him the four games. I really am. I wish they would have gave him five, you know, to really send the message. But, you know, the four games is good enough. You know, I was hoping it was anything over the one or two because if it was one or two, everybody would have been pissed. Devils fans would have been outraged to see him get one to two games this time and not get anything for the Bastion hit as well. But, you know, it, it's something that... Devils fans and Ranger fans wanted to see this game because they wanted to see what was going to happen in this game. You know, what what was recently acquired uh, Curtis McDermott going to do once he lines up Matt Rempe? Were they going to just throw fists and like he's done in the past? You know, Rempe has fought a lot of big names now. He fought Delorier, he fought Matt Martin, you know, he fought Ryan Reeves, and he's done fairly well in his fights. You know, the, the, the Oliver fight was, was a bad one. He got clocked in that one, but... You know, looking at the way McDermott really wanted him and what happened, what transpired with the hit was just bad. You know, the way Siegenthaler went down, the way he skated towards him, was this kind of repercussions for what happened last time? Or was it just bad place, bad time for Siegenthaler? Siegenthaler was the person who went up and tried to fight Matt Rempe in that previous game when uh, Bastion was hit. But, um, you know, he skated right towards him. You saw it clear as day. His elbow was out and made comp t contact with the head, so... You know, I really wanted to see McDermott and him go at it, you know, just because that's the reason we picked up McDermott, because we needed this kind of enforcer on this team. You know, we saw a lot of teams uh, in our division really bolstering up as far as bringing in that tough guy and, you know, that, that player who can, you know, stick up for their teammates. And when we got McDermott, we were purposely waiting for this game to see what would happen and to see him do this action, to skate away, waving to uh, McDermott. And him getting ejected as well, you know, it just, it was clownish what happened in this game. And, you know, just, he should have lived up to the bill. You know, he injured a player in the last game. He injured other players around the league. He injured a player in this game too, and still nothing. So, you know, that next game with the Devils and Rangers is going to be a physical one. I could tell. I, I, it's going to be, is brewing up to something. And, you know, you, you kind of want... Physical hockey in the game, you want fighting still in the game, but you don't want it to come at the expense of players getting injured. So, you know, hopefully the kid can learn from this. He's a young kid. 
He's only 10 games into his NHL career, and I know Rangers aren't going to miss him a ton as he doesn't play a lot during the game, but, you know, hopefully he learns from this and, you know, just changes his attitude the way he plays because he's drawn a lot of negative attention with a lot of players around the league, and player safety has seen it and already suspended him for this as of now. So they're going to keep a close, watchful eye on him when he comes back and see how he does because they have to get this out of hockey because this can be one hit uh, with a potential superstar, what happens if he does to McDavid or McCarr, one of those players, you know, and, and they're out for the rest of the playoffs. The, the fans are going to outrage. You know, this is something that they had to give him the suspension to really nip it in the butt and to really get this under, get this player under key for not doing this in the future. So comment below. What do you think about the suspension? Do you think it's rightfully so? Do you think it's too high, too low? Comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to the Hockey Skate Town. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.